Welcome Libra, August 2020, love, reading, and whatever else comes in it. So, uh, please remember to like, subscribe, share my video. I've already shuffled these quite a few times, but I'm going to go ahead and shuffle them more. Okay, Spirit wants me to stop, so we're going to stop right here. Okay, let's see what we got going here. We've got the Knight of Cups. Page of Cups, Queen of Swords reversed, Five of Wands, and the King of Cups. So here's what I'm getting here. There is an invitation, an opportunity here in August for you, Libra, in regards to love. Something I feel is arriving. Maybe something you've been long longing for. This could be someone that you had a connection to in the past or even most recent. And I feel like with the Page of Cups, this is a person who is very uh, reflective. Um, it also could be somebody that you met, maybe either on a Zoom or online uh, app of some sort. It could have been some some place that you were taking a meditation class or or um, uh, any type of metaphysical spiritual class. It could have even had something to do, but I feel like it has something to do with water. Uh, this also could be a Scorpio. It could be a Cancer um, or even a Pisces. And uh, I also feel that this person has some uh, talent. So they could write lyrics, poetry, Maybe they sing, play music of some sort. Uh, with the Queen of Swords here, I feel like that whoever this person is, um, for some of you, Libra, and I'm reading for thousands of you, so obviously this reading isn't going to resonate with all of you, but I feel like this is something that there was a misunderstanding or something uh, maybe came up in your own mind uh, or the mind of theirs that really was a reflection of the past, something that uh, really holds them back from really completing their relationship. Um, I feel like, too, that if this relationship did end or there is a lack of communication, it's because there's, there was too much maybe blaming or faulting or just kind of a cold feeling energy I'm getting, like a complete cutoff. Uh, and then we've got the Five of Wands where it's telling me that uh, some of you are struggling with this. You're struggling with it. You, you desire more. You're not satisfied with what's going on here. Um, also, too, when I get the Queen of Swords reverse and next to the Five of Wands, somebody's got a really bad temper. Somebody's got a bad temper here. And uh, they're aggressive. They like the fighting. They like the fighting. They like the drama. So if it's you or if it's someone you know, I mean, in order for this relationship to really blossom, to really grow, come together, this energy cannot be in there. This volatile energy cannot be there. Okay. Now with the King of Cups, we've got another water sign here. Um, this could be your rising. This could be your moon. Or it could be someone uh, that you know that you've been connected to. Uh, that is a water sign. It also could be somebody new, even though it's ending my first row of reading because I'm only pulling five cards a row here. This is somebody that is more responsible. This is a responsible person, very creative. Um, they love to learn. They love to grow. Uh, they could be a businessman or a woman. They could be, you know, some so doctor, uh, uh, any type of profession could be an attorney, could be even somebody who's just a spiritual leader or writer. Uh, it could be anybody uh, that is professional and stable. Now, let's see what the next roll says, and then I may pull some other cards on some of these. So we've got the Two of Cups. So some of you are in... Um, okay, wait, before I talk, because I have a habit of just starting to flow with spirit and blah, 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 blah. I don't get, I kind of stumble over everything. So <laughs> let me slow down here. That fire energy is cooking. Okay, so here we got the two of cups. Now this is somebody, the king of cups that you could have just met. 
Now, I'm sensing somebody's loved one or yourself may have, um, uh, may be dealing with some uh, affliction of some kind. So this could have been surgery, this could have been uh, in, an injury, an accident, uh, or it could just be a painful heart um, in regards to feeling sad and bummed out because you know, I'm I'm picking up a lot in this reading. Some of you met some new people. Some of you are about to meet some new people. But the passive aggressive energy needs to go. If it's going to be a part of this and you're looking for drama, this relationship is not going to work. No way. Um, you've got to put a lot of love and magic and, and, and spirit and creativity in this relationship also. Okay? I know Libras are fantastic romance in regards to uh you know expressing themselves but also to you get a little bit indecisive that's why you're the scales you're looking for balance all the time so um here we've got the nine of pentacles now you can accomplish something good here but i, I just feel in this relationship that I just, you know, when I look up the top row, I'm like, oof, there's the cutoff. And you want to make it good, or some of you want to make it good with a Libra, but it's right now, I just feel like it needs to work itself out in August. Okay. Work itself out in on it, August. Like maybe you're not leaving the, leaving it up to spirit to help you. Uh, and I'm getting a little theories get a little theories coming in here that you're not asking for higher assistance you know beyond human beings like in nature you know your crystals your stones meditating around a tree or calling in the fairies or the elves or um your angels and a higher power here to assist you in 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 just really calming down the energies here. So with this Ten of Swords next to Ten of Two of Cups, also too, I feel some of you are afraid to move forward in a relationship, whether you've got one going or not, because you've had so much pain in the past. Your heart's been broken. Okay, but you can come out of this if you stop focusing on the past and really just be a risk taker here. Just allow yourself to go with the flow and see what's going on. Now, the magician can be tricky. It's a good card, but it can be tricky next to the Ten of Swords. This could be someone who's really good with their words, knows how to persuade you, but they're deceptive and trickery at the same time. So maybe you've experienced that or will be experiencing that in August. Um, with the Nine of Pentacles and then we've got the Four Swords, this is telling me that there needs to be space and time. Like an exile, like a retreat, just moving out into your own space and letting things just calm down and um, heal itself, okay? The Four of Swords too, it, it can be a card of, of just being in a situation where you want to fight for your rights, <laughs> you want to defend yourself, okay? See this? You want to defend yourself, you want to fight for your rights, but at the same time, Spirit is saying that abandonment, the feeling of loss, is one of your core issues of why relationships repeat themselves in certain ways uh, regarding ending up in, in painful moments. So let's look at the next row. There we've got the Hermit. So that's a Virgo card too. And also um, it's telling me that it's good to take your own space because you're going to come up with your own uh, solutions uh, through just, you know, being in your own space, being that little Hermit. Um also, too, we get a lot of knowledge and wisdom. We can absorb a lot of knowledge and wisdom when we are in our own space, especially when things aren't working as well or they're regressing rather than moving forward. This is a good time to take your space in August on and off when you need it, okay, when you need it. Let's move the cards up here. So this last row here, 
uh, you, if you do that, if you take the time out, let, let your partner, your lover, or your um, prospective partner, or somebody that you just met, if you allow them to have their space and you take your space, there's a lot of healing that can be, ha that can happen here, okay? And um, that's what the Nine of Cups is telling me too, that wishes can be granted if you take the seat of abundant thinking, if you allow abundance to enter back into your life. And that would be, again, the Four Swords, the Hermit, taking this space to really observe things and allowing the other person to have space too. And you don't have to become aggressive about it okay or if the, your partner becomes aggressive about it just explain to them that i just need some space and time for me and this will make our relationship if there is to be one a lot healthier okay then we got the six of coins which is also the six of pentacles and this just tells me that gratitude uh is really important for the month of August for you, Libra. Um, I do feel that you can expect some gifts. Uh, I, I feel like your lover, your partner, your significant other, whatever you want to call them, uh, will be giving you uh, some gifts. I do feel like they will help you in some way uh, or you'll be helping each other uh, through the month of August. I think the month of August is kind of iffy because we've got Uranus going your ret retrograde and there's not much difference between a retrograde and a and a direct Uranus the only the only thing with Uranus is when it does go retrograde backwards it shifts there can be unexpected situations that just boom come out of the blue uh, and then we've got the eight of swords and the eight of swords is telling me that uh, you just feel like you're in a moment of crisis also too when I look at the Eight of Swords and then go up to the Ten of Swords, somebody may not be feeling well or know somebody that isn't feeling well. There's a possibility that this loved one uh, or yourself could have uh, some type of surgery or is healing from some type of wound. And I feel like it's uh, an afflicted type of wound. Uh, it could even be an addiction of some sort, okay? But the Eight of Swords does it does have an, an inflicting uh, energy to it. Some of you might be experiencing your loved one in prison uh, or they may be going to prison or they might be in a situation where they're depressed um, and they need your assistance uh, by helping them find someone that can help them, okay? Uh, but I really feel that that you or if this is someone else really needs to make the decision to help themselves because that's when healing really takes place but i just feel that um i just feel like for some of you with some of these relationships that you had going i i, I just feel cease i i feel like it just ceases it ends it it just isn't going to move forward anywhere. And some of you with the Seven of Cups are finding yourself in fantasy land. You know, you have some unrealistic attitudes about your relationship. Or they have some unrealistic attitudes about you. Okay, there's a lot of daydreaming, although daydreaming is good. But we want to put that in practical application. Otherwise, it remains in a dimension where it can't make a connection to what's really happening in your reality world. Okay? Um, so there's a lot of wishful thinking. Some of you are wasting your time on waiting for partners of the past, ex-partners, for example, um, in the past. You're wasting your time waiting for them. You need to keep moving your energies forward. You need to keep moving forward. Um, also, too, I feel like some of you might have some very impressive people or think they are impressing you, but they are not. They're not actually impressive at all. They think that they are this, this, and that, but they aren't at all, okay? They, they have just as much work to do on themselves as you do or as anybody else on this planet. 
Okay. All right. I'm going to leave you with this reading. Thank you so much for listening, Libra. Stay blessed.